Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will talk about how to solve system of linear equations using elimination method. There are different ways on how to solve the given system of linear equations. First, we have the graphical method. Second, we have the substitution method. Third, our topic today, which is the elimination method. Last time, we have uploaded a video in which we discussed natin on how to solve system of linear equations using the substitution method. And if you want to watch that video, I will put it here. And the link of that video, I will put it in the description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we, are he we have here two different systems of equation. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. x minus 3y is equal to 3. Then we have here the system 4x minus 2y is equal to 4. 2x plus y is equal to 6. What is meant by solving a system of linear equations? Ang pinaka-target natin dito guys is to find the solution of a given system. Or in other words, we need to find the value of x variable and the value of the y variable that will satisfy the two equations in the given system of equations. And right now, ang target natin is to use the elimination method. So when we say elimination method, uh, ang ibig sabihin yun guys, uh, we need to eliminate one variable for us to solve the other variable. Again, we need to eliminate one variable to solve for the other variable. Now, let's have this example. As you can see, we have the variable x and the variable y. So, yung target natin in solving the elimination method or using the elimination method, we can cancel out or we can eliminate the x variable for us to solve the variable y. Or, the other way around, we can eliminate the y variable to solve for the x variable. Now, let's start. We have here 2x plus 3y is equal to 15 and then x minus 3y is equal to 3. So, ang target natin dito guys is to add the two equations. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15 and then the other equation, this is your equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2. For the second equation, we will copy the second equation. We have x minus 3y is equal to 3. Now, sir, paano po tayo pili ng isang equation or ng isang variable that we can eliminate? Ang clue naman natin dyan, guys, dapat meron silang um, coefficient in which the coefficients of those variables are additive inverse. Sir, ano po ba yung tinutukoy nyo? Look at, item ng, look at the variable y. In the first equation, we have positive 3y. Again, positive 3y. While in the other equation, we have negative 3y. As you can see, positive 3 is the additive inverse of negative 3. Or the other way around, negative 3 is the additive inverse of positive 3. If that is the case, we can easily eliminate the variable y. Sir, bakit po? Because when we add this whole equation, it will give us 2x plus x, that is 3x. Again, 2x plus x is equal to 3x. While for the, for the y variable, 3y plus negative plus negative 3y, that will give you 0. So as you can see, now eliminate natin yung variable y. So... I will erase plus 0 because no need to write 0 if that is 0. And then, we will add the constants and it will give you 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. So, writing this, it will give us the new equation 3x is equal to 18. As you can see guys, since we already eliminated the variable y, we can now solve for the x using this equation 3x is equal to 18 simply by dividing the whole equation by 3. You can cancel it out, cancel it out. Your x is equal to 6. This is the value of x in the given system of equations. Now, after this, what's next, sir? Siyempre, 
If we are done solving for the variable x, we need to solve for y. Solve for y. In solving for y, we will choose between the two equations. It's either the equation number 1 or equation number 2. Pero, um, for me kasi mas simple yung equation number 1. Ay, number 2. Pero, sige, try natin number 1. So, I will be using number 1. Pero, pwede nyo yung gamitin yung equation number 2, ha? To solve for y. So, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. Since the variable x here is 6, x is equal to 6, we can substitute 6 and replace x here to the given equation. So, it will be like this. 2 times 6 plus 3y is equal to 15. And you will simplify this by multiplying 2 and 6. This is 12 plus 3y is equal to 15. So we can add uh, both sides of the equation by negative 12. Pero ako, in our case, I will transpose negative uh, 12 to the other side. Remember, when you are transposing a third in an equation, you need to change the sign of it. So it will give us a new equation. 3y is equal to 15 minus 12. As you can see from positive 12, it became negative 12. So simplifying this, this is 3y is equal to 3. And dividing both sides by 3, cancel, cancel, your y is equal to 1. This is the value of y in the given system of equation. Pero guys, before we declare, ito naman na, uh, the other step na gagawin ko is not required, pero it is necessary. Again, these are required, pero it is necessary to check whether your answer or the value of your variables are correct. Okay? We will do checking. Dito na tayo sa part na to. Let's do the checking. For the checking part, we will use the two equations and the two variables we have. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 1. We will check if these two values of, uh, the value of x and the value of y, y na nakuha natin can satisfy the equation or the system rather. So we have this. This is 2 times 6 plus 3 times 1 and equal to 15. Pag sinimplify nito, this is 12 plus 3 is equal to 15, and adding these two numbers, this will give us the sum of 15 is equal to 15. So as you can see, uh, the given value satisfies the first equation. How about the second equation that makes up the system? So let's try with the second equation, which is x minus 3y is equal to 3. Substituting 6, this is 6, minus 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Simplify 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And as you can see, 3 is equal to 3. So our answers are correct. So what do you mean? This is the check natin that the value of x, which is 6, and the value of y, which is 1, satisfies the given equation. So we can declare that the solution is simply 6, 1. What do you mean? That the value of x is 1, the value of x is 6, and the value of y is 1. Okay? So I will erase this part para masolve na natin yung item number 2. Now, given system number 2, we are given, for the first equation, you have 4x minus 2y is equal to 4, and the second equation is 2. Okay? 2. Now, guys, um, analyzing these two equations, ang sinin nyo, analyzing these two equations, wala tayo agad na may eliminate So as you can see, for the coefficients of the x variable, we have 4 and 2. In this reality inverse. As well as the coefficients of the y variable. We have negative 2 and positive 1. Unlike in a previous example, 3 and negative 3. So what do you need to do? Ang kailangan natin gawin dito guys, is to multiply something 
either sa equation number 1 or sa equation number 2. Pero sa akin, mas madali kung equation number 2 ang gagamitin natin. First, we will copy the first equation, 4x minus 2y is equal to 4. And as you can see, ang target natin, di ba, ang kailangan maging 2 yung coefficient ni y. Again, kailangan maging 2 or 2y ito. So what you will do is to get the second equation plus 2y is equal to 6. Multiply the whole equation by positive 2 because this is negative 2. So multiplying it, it will give us the transformed equation. This is, copy natin to, 4x minus 2y is equal to 4. And for the second equation, multiplying the whole equation by 2, 2 times 2x is 4x. Okay? And this one is 4, 2 times 2y is plus 4y. Ah, sorry. Ah, this is y also. Sorry, sorry. This is y. 2 times y is 2y is equal to 6 times 2, which is 12. Again, typographical error kanina, guys. Kinapya natin yung 2x plus y is equal to 6. And then we multiplied it, and it became 4x plus 2y is equal to 12. So we are ready now to add the two equations. Yung, eight, yung 4x natin plus 4x is equal to 8x. While your negative 2y plus 2y is 0. So, na-eliminate natin or na-cancel out natin yung variable y. And as for the terms or the constants, we have 16. And simplifying this, divide both sides by 8. It will give you x is equal to 2. This is the value of x in the second system of linear equations. Now, let's move on to solve for y. Solve for y. So what will what will I do is I will choose the second equation because y is already isolated or wala tayo ibang coefficient kay y aside from 1. So I will use this 2x plus y is equal to 6 and your x is equal to 2. So we will replace x by 2. This is 2 times 2 plus y is equal to 6. Simplifying this, this will, this will give us 4 plus y is equal to 6, transposing this to the other side. That is y is equal to 6 minus 4, and your y here is simply 2. Okay? As for the checking, guys, for the checking of your answer, you can check, or you can create a checking part para masecure nyo that your answer or the solutions are correct. Now, since the value of x is equal to 2, and the value of y is equal to 2, we can say that the solution of the given system is 2, 2. Yeah, guys, I hope that you learned something from this video on how to solve the system of linear equations by elimination method. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Jordan. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!